Hi, Kerry Phipps here, author of Do Talk to Strangers. We had a little connection on a train about six months ago. That's right. This is Preston Pollard from the US. And Preston, tell us what you're doing in Australia right now. I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of Groundswell Youth Alive I'm from Alaska, and I've been here for about three weeks, and it, it has been amazing. So much fun. Yeah, it's a great place. So we've just stayed in touch since that momentary connection on a train in December last year. Mm -hmm. Now, what I noticed, Preston, was when we connected, I got on the train and I was on a, on a phone call and so I couldn't connect. He was reading a book and he was uh, you know, pouring over this book <laughs> and I thought, okay, it's a good book. Yep. But I noticed that every time someone got on the train, you looked up, mm -hmm. you were ready to connect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in, in here, we talk about starting small, just mm. starting with a smile, eye contact, just right. look up. That's right. And you were so ready to do that. Yeah. So have you always done that? I, I guess so. I mean, ever since I was a kid with, you know, it was skateboarding, I'd always, I was always interested in people and just engaging and communicating and it doesn't matter. Because I, when I was younger, they put me in special ed classes. So right. I was, they put me at the lowest, the lowest, and I was just so hyper ADD. So I've always just connected with somebody, if they were in special ed or if they were maybe in a higher class. I was just connected with everybody has a story. Yes. And sometimes if you can just take one second out of your day to smile at them, you never know how much of a difference that can make. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And it is, it might just be one second. Mm -hmm. it's, people, I think, fear talking to strangers because, oh, what if it turns into something tedious? You know, yeah. but it's often a beautiful connection, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you just are so glad that you've connected. Yeah. So we only had a moment because I was on the phone, I was with Granddad, Preston was reading, and I didn't want to just go and sit next to him and just go, <laughs> hi, I just wanted to talk to you. But I felt like, I like this guy. Mm. What is that? So I just want to encourage you when you notice somebody, and you just think, I'd like to connect, mm -hmm. just look for the opportunity to make eye contact, say hi, see where it goes. If it doesn't go anywhere, that's fine. But, but, you can, but I believe you can also take, every person has their own story, so you can learn something from everybody. Yes. And so when you talk about little things, maybe you might not know something, so yeah. it might just cheer you up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you might cheer them up. I think yeah. that's, that is the basic reason that we need to connect with people, because mm. the world needs more positivity, more encouragement. That's right. Yeah, but you might actually become friends and hook up. And mutual friendships so we have. We I mean, found <laughs> we have mutual friends. That was hilarious wow. when we did connect on Facebook. That's right. But within, within minutes of our... Uh, you know going separate ways Preston was emailing me his whole story which is <laughs> extraordinary so check out uh, what? yeah Preston Pollard uh, dot com I'm on Instagram yeah. and I'll say what's up you can whatever ask questions <laughs> I'm here so, yeah cool here's a copy of do talk to strangers for you to wow. take back wow. read it on a train or a plane and I want to hear the conversations that come up <laughs> awesome well thank you so much thank and you keep on Preston. doing what you're doing thank you see you